When most of us think of Group B rally racing cars, we get a free bump of dopamine. High output engines, lightweight chassis, H-pattern shifted racing cars, absent modern electronic assists like ABS and traction control. 40 years on, we still can't stop drooling over Group B, but let's not forget about its circuit racing cousin, Group 5. The fourth generation FIA Group 5 category was a wild and only slightly regulated racing class in the mid-1970s and early 80s, and thanks to the recently overhauled DRM Revival mod for Assetto Corsa, we get to relive it in all its loud, unsightly, and dangerous glory. Alright, so before I get into the excellent Assetto Corsa mod, let's spend a few minutes geeking out about what made Group 5 special. A brief history of how this class came to be is that the FIA's Group 5 in the early 1970s was waning in popularity with its prototype cars, so for 1976 they switched from prototypes to special production cars. The FIA required the entries to be homologated cars already registered in Groups 1 through 4, but said very little for actual restrictions. Race mechanics being race mechanics, they took things to the extreme. Weight minimums were based on displacement, so many teams opted for small displacement, heavily turboed engines. The net result were some cars registering 800 horsepower and weighing 1,000 kilograms. That would be a rare and borderline obscene power to weight ratio even today, but absent electronic assists, it tips into the territory of downright scary. Like the power figures, the aero treatments of the cars were mostly absent regulation. Massive rear wings and ridiculous front splitters gave the entries their distinct look. Just imagine going from this to this. Thankfully, the series lives on in the Assetto Corsa space, courtesy of this DRM Revival Pack. It's a paid mod pack that contains 10 car models, some with variants, for a total of 18 cars and entries from the likes of Ferrari, Ford, and BMW. And if you know your Assetto Corsa history, you know this is not a new mod pack. It was first released about six years ago, but so much has changed in Assetto Corsa over that time that the DRM Revival team decided to give the pack one last update. The version 1.32 update brings a list of changes that is quite literally longer than the two and a half pages of the FIA regulations for Group 5. All these vehicles received physics updates, graphical improvements, and some even got sound fixes. So if you're into analog, old school, monstrous race cars, you will not be able to beat these. Let's take them on track. All right, so here we are at 1967 Zolder. As you can see, some of my competitors are headed out on track. Whoops, that's reverse. Thought something felt funny. So let's see if we can catch up to them. In this Zach Speed Capri. And I'll walk you through the driving experience of this ferocious machine. First thing to note, if you do head out and buy this car pack, when you first drive it, you might hate it. This is not instant fall in love RSS Mercer V8 levels of drivability. This is what have I gotten myself into levels of drivability. The car, it's not bad for over or under, actually it's not bad for understeer. It's only bad for oversteer when you go hard on the accelerator on corner exit. Uh, but braking zones and turbo lag are going to be a problem. <laughs> they are going to be your problem when you drive these cars in just about every instance. Uh, the late 70s uh, 320i models that are available in this pack are probably the most refined cars in terms of drivability. Uh, so if you're struggling, go for those ones. If you want the opposite of that, go for the BMW M1. <laughs> that car uh, is just scary in terms of its uh, turbo lag and then the rush you get once those turbos are spooled. Boy, watch out. And uh, the Porsche 935 K2 and K3 are probably the fastest you'll go. I mean, I think both are you know nearing 800 horsepower. So that's likely to get you around the track the quickest. This Zach Speed Capri that I'm in right now is probably the best overall car, I would say. 600-ish horsepower, can't remember the weight figure, um, but yeah, right now it's cold, so I'm having to hold on for dear life, and you probably see me wrestling that wheel a bit in these corners. But once it's up to temp, it's 
somewhat refined and it has that balance because the BMW 320i that I mentioned <laughs> earlier, um, yeah, that's uh, it's underpowered and you're going to get blown away in the straights. Uh, conversely, the M1, you're not going to be able to accelerate out of the corners as nice. The Zach Speed Capri, good all of overall car in this pack. But look at this speed, look at this speed. Got to brake so I don't catch air on that hill. Down into third gear, spitting flames, no doubt. All right, we are up to temp. We are feeling good. Car's feeling nimble underneath me. Now, what can we do here? Looks like we got a Beamer and a Porsche. That 935, excellent in a straight line. Come on. Live up to what I just said. Let's go. Oh, is he pitting? Perhaps that was a pit. But yeah, I absolutely love this pack. At 15-ish dollars, is it worth it? 100%, yeah. Um, I understand that's on the higher end of the uh, pricing scale for a set of Corsa mods. However, you do get 18 cars for that price, so it's pretty good. And is there a lot of variance between the cars? Yeah. I mean, some of these sort of sub-models, no, there really isn't. You're going from like a 77 to a 78 model, and uh, there's just some more or less cosmetic finishes on the car. Um, you know, slight differences in aero, so uh, that, no, there's not a lot of variability, but going from like the K3 Porsche to the 320i or, you know, the Lancia, eh, yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> They're not at all the same. You're going to have to adjust your driving style and uh, try and get on with these cars, but few cars in sim racing are this rewarding, to be honest. It's very old school, very analog and extremely fast. All right, looks like we might have some real estate in front of us to try and put in a new fastest lap. Let's see what we can do here. No digital lap timing. So I'll just have to assume that based on how the car is feeling that I'm putting in a best lap. second gear through this left-hander again the car reasonably planted it's difficult to drive that's for certain but doesn't feel unfair come on Mike let's catch this guy whoa whoa come on let's go The driving experience blows my mind. These are so good. So much fun. Whoa. All right, the second gear again. What do we got here? Is that the Ferrari? No, I don't think it is. Porsche, what are you going to do to me here? Oh, trouble getting into third gear there. By the way, if you get a chance to drive the M1, I recommend you suck or soak in, don't suck in, soak in the transmission sounds on that M1. It sounds like it's being shifted with a sledgehammer. Unreal, just a massive clunk clunk into gear really cool oh get around come on good hold on to it mike off into the grass got lucky there all right we are grooving here car is feeling stuck 
somewhat or as stuck <laughs> as a DRM revival car can feel. See that boost gauge climbing up just short of one and a half bar. A fellow Zach Speed. I'm gonna sneak under up under the inside here. I don't think I said that right, but you get my point. Sneak up the inside, that's what I should have said. So hopefully. Oh no, you did not just do that. Hopefully I have conveyed the message about the awesomeness of the DRM Revival Pack for Assetto Corsa by now. All you need to know is go and get this if you have any notion of driving old school, awesome analog tin tops. This is as good as life gets in that realm. Whistling turbos, old school steel brakes, no modern assists. Yes, this is living. If you can find your gears, it's even better. Come on, let's go. Keeping fourth gear here for the first time. This has got to be best lap, feeling good. Famous last words, I'm sure. Ah, then I threw it away. Too many competitors, too close. Actually, that wasn't too bad. All right, I was going to end it. Mentally, I was checked out, but then I had too good a time on that last lap. I gotta go for one more. Fourth gear. Oh, big lock there. Come on, come on girl, let's rock, yes. Whoa, <laughs> that was close, that was close. Tires on the grass, almost made me pay. All right, fourth gear didn't work so well last time. Oh, this is coming in hot. Managed to control. Oh. Oh. All right, DRM Revival version 1.32. Amazing, six years on, still one of the best mod packs you can buy for this title. Don't think twice. No caveats on this one, just a straight up recommendation of an awesome mod pack. All right, enjoy this replay and we'll see you next time.